Okay, thank you so much for your uh, inviting me to participate in the talk show even today that we talk about the redesign of the special economic zones in ASEAN and also engage me that representative of the uh, labor sector that we are uh, uh, observe in the special economic zone in Cambodia. Okay, uh, so now uh, I, I may not have uh, any uh, idea, but I just want to show all of you about the uh, current situation in the special economic zone, especially in uh, Sayanu Wales nowadays. That uh, we refer to about uh, the label issue, that uh, anybody talk much about the land issue and also the policies of the special economic zone and how to uh, redesign it for all, especially for the local people. But now I would like to draw everyone to focus on the level. We are care uh, too much from the SEZ start to open from, from uh, the beginning. Uh, it means that from the land and now until inside of the special Mission company, also we care about the level of the local people are working, face a lot of issues. So I would like to share my screen, please. Okay, uh, I would like to uh, tell everyone to know about the true story inside of the special economy soon. Uh, but before we enter to the main issue in the special economy soon of the labor sectors, I would like to tell all of you that lacking of independent union lead to violation of worker rights and working condition in the St. Louis special economy soon. And uh, so on, I would like to tell you a little bit about uh, St. Hanuk Will Special Economy Zone. As you see, I uh, may tell you uh, a few times about uh, St. Hanuk Will Special Economy Zone. In among also when Special Economy Zone has been approved by the CDC of Cambodia to operate, St. Hanuk Will Special Economy Zone is the biggest one. Yes, in among the uh, seven so uh, as easy. And this is the, the special economy zone is cooperated by the uh, uh, two Chinese companies. One is Jiangsu, Taihu Cambodia International Economic uh, Cooperation Investment. And the second is Cambodia International Investment Development Group, called LTD, and owner by uh, one senator of Cambodia. Uh, he excellency is Lau Min Khen. And uh, anybody, uh, know that uh, he is a husband of uh, one uh, power woman in uh, Cambodia and she is vice president of Cambodia Red Cross is Jiang Sopip and so powerful in uh, Cambodia. And uh, with the capital of investment, uh, 320 million US dollar and special economy soon has been uh, approved in 2008. And until now, uh, there are 180 companies and factories are opening and running in the special Sen uh, Will Special Economic Zone uh, with uh, 26,815 uh, uh, workers who are work inside of the special economic zone. This data that we take in, uh, in the 2020s. And as you see, as is it developed, our vision is to make the area a Shenzhen city of Cambodia, and it's an important model for China One Belt One Road. And in 2008, the Chinese government also provides uh, funding for construction uh, uh, highways from uh, Shenzhen to Phnom Penh, and it will be complete in 2023. And it's very important that uh, Shenzhen will become a Shenzhen of China. Maybe anyone uh, know. And uh, uh, this again, according to the uh, Saint Will Special Economy Zone uh, Administration Rock for that, Saint Will Special Economy Zone uh, has invested capital in nowadays is uh, 744 uh, uh, million and 564,088 
1.1 is nearly okay 800 of million the national and international investor in Senate will total 11 country how uh, who invest uh, uh, in the world special economic zone with uh, eight, uh, 48 different product activity. Yes. And most of them are Chinese in the special economic zone. But now let me show you about the issue. I mean that the true story of the uh, special economic zones. Workers who are working in the special economic zone, they are not get a special which meanwhile the government or the state has provided special thing to the investor who are invest in the special economy soon the best on the article 104 of the law of the labor law of cambodia uh, has been required that weight must be and so all the worker have a decent standard living in line but unfortunately and nowadays, the, 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 the worker inside special economic zone just got 192 of the minimum wage and with the long or much of overtime, almost every day, and they can get just only rank from uh, 192 to 230 uh, per month. But what we are concerned, the wage is not... Uh, is not replies or appropriate to their to their expense in the daily uh, inflation and everything is too high expense and uh, the worker just get the, 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 the low minimum wage in the special economy zone and uh, the second one is short term contract what we are concerned is most of the worker who are work in the special economy zone are recruited to work in a fixed term contract in two months, three months, and six months. And this is uh, very popular in the special, with special economy soon that we are concerned a lot of uh, uh, benefit and also a worker fundamental rights has been reduced and they cannot to, re to use their uh, fundamental right. And uh, that, uh, as you see, uh, every worker will be uh, concern about their uh, securities of work, no stability, because uh, the, the, the company are not comply based on the law. As you see, uh, we have two uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, employment contract. The first one is fixed term contract, and the second one is unspecified duration contract. In probation, it starts from one month to three months. This is the probation, but full time is at least from six months. To two years but in real practice every worker just got in short-term contract with three months or six months and every worker cannot use uh, their fundamental rights they 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 cannot use the rights to join with the union and they they don't have a uh, benefit that required by the law so uh, they lost rights and everything too much about a short-term contract and as a can is no social security with the uh, with the uh, with the short term contract. Yes, but uh, have uh, no social security because uh, some of those company are not registered. Yes, in the commercial ministry of Cambodia, they have a small amount of worker who are work inside the factory. And the uh, third is no decent working time. No decent working time. I mean that. Uh, on based on my 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 work and work with worker every day in recently we observe that worker work much time eight hour eight uh, uh eight hours per day and they try to add more two or four hours more it's mean that uh 10 or 12 hours per day that worker need to work yes and it is not uh, based on the voluntary policy but most of the worker are got the pressure from the company. So this is uh, a, a hard way that worker difficult to, to, to demand or to tell to the story that it is the, 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 the uh, regulation policy because of the short term contract. When worker try to demand, try to do something to get the right and, 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 and to oppose what the, the company uh, do on them, it's mean that 
the short term contract will be come down to them. Maybe next month or after next month, they will dismiss and based on the law, no mistake. This is a very dangerous for work. And uh, the, 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 for the poor working condition and loss of the benefit required by the law, the last is a threat of uh, an unable to join trade union. This is the, the that I summary, the impact or issue that company try to use short term contract in special economy soon. And the next is trade union busting. As you know, uh, in the name of labor group, unions and confederation, we are trying attempt to uh, establish, organize to establish the trade union in the St. Louis Special Economy soon uh, many times, but we fail. But we fail. It's a very difficult okay. to establish local trade union. May you know based on the level of Cambodia and based on the uh, international regulation, they provide a completely freedom of association to the worker to join and establish the uh, established uh, local trade union in order to represent the worker, in order to protect right, in order to protect their benefit, because they know that nobody can help worker. Yes, just only uh, a union. But the company they try to a uh, union busting. The first one is the worker uh, word and photograph. It means that post the photos on the wall in front of the factory. In uh, almost every factory has been put a photo of the activists of the union and, and those companies are not allowed to, to, to accept or recruit them to work in the factory as well. This is the past that we are used to, used to met. And the second is trade union persecution. Trade union persecution is mean that many worker or some worker who are engaged with the uh, uh, trade union activities, when the company, they know about it, they will try to dismiss all those activists or uh, unionists from the work. It means that they will dismiss the employment easily. And so the worker, they are uh, so afraid of losing their job and they are afraid to, to, to make an expression, to use the right of assemble and this is very typical, yeah. And the last is dismiss, a uh, dismiss worker and union leader who are participate and wish to form a union. It's a very concern about that. Okay. And uh, working condition, working condition. We 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 have to interview some worker and one worker, Miss uh, Charles Opon, who are work in uh, one company in the special economy soon said that. She worked uh, four years, four years ago, but the company still use short term contract with, with her and uh, she uh, afraid so much with joining with a union because the company tell that when someone have engaged or they know someone uh, join with the union, they will uh, stop their job. So they are afraid so much with, uh, with this. And uh, for example, like unpaid the little one for sick leave, or work accident, way deduction and fine, oppose the law, yes, establish giving bad condition and pressure to force worker to work overtime illegally. Yes, this is that happened in the special economy soon. And the next is no nurse best workplace. Based on the level law, they has been required that and the factory need to have a nurse or doctor based on the workplace because uh, uh, in order to provide some emergency, yes, uh, when, when the worker got accident, but most of the factory or company in the special economy soon, we have, we, we never seen the company have a nurse or doctor in the, in the workplace. So when the worker have a got accident, <laughs> employment accident in the factory, so no one can be provide emergency uh, uh, sewing or emergency yes, to, the com uh, to the worker. Okay, and uh, the next is unable to get a deep shoot resolution. 
it's a very I am very concerned about uh, the the trade union law uh, in two, uh, 2016 where the government of Cambodia the National Assembly has been uh, uh, have a new law of trade union and new law of trade union said if the trade union have no the more representative it means that MOF so the union cannot uh, have enough right to representative to the whole worker in the factory. In case of how no MOS, the union need to call for the shum to support at least 31% of the whole uh, company. So some uh, 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 union, they don't have enough ability to organize uh, a lot of people like that. For example, uh, 5,000 of workers in the company or, or 10,000 workers of the company, how could we find the voice of worker to support in order to get 31% or to get MOS? So the collective, the collective dispute could not, could not uh, settle. So a lot of workers, they are work in the company, did not get the 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 uh, resolution uh, uh, labor uh, uh, labor dispute uh, properly. Yeah, you see in the picture, uh, some pregnant in uh, one uh, company, LB Boots uh, Cambodia. It is the black factory. They discriminate again a uh, pregnant. Recently, they has been dismissed uh, uh, pregnant uh, people who are work in uh, their company. Yeah, now let me show you uh, something a little bit about uh, uh, the, ma the main problem uh, in uh, uh, COVID-19 epidemic. Employment suspension more than uh, two months because of the COVID-19 and most of the worker, they, they most of the workers, they are challenged too much. Uh, some company in the special economy soon are not provide uh, their salary during their quarantine at home. Yes. Uh, the second is lockdown company or community work. Uh, they cannot go to work and no pay. Uh, the next is unpaid wage during quarantine. Who involves? The next is lack of food and accommodation. And the last is can earn money to bank debt repayment. This is that we are uh, select and choose from the main problem of the worker during a COVID-19. What important and we note that many workers who are get involved with the uh, infected people of the positive COVID-19, those people who are quarantined at home, they are no uh, they are no wage no salary until they are finished their quarantine at home and come to the, 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 the company or the factory and start a new day. But during the quarantine, no work, no money. And uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, as you see, the, 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 the government or the company should uh, think about that. This is not come from the mistake of the worker, but it's just from the COVID-19 and they need to provide uh, some support or salary to the people who are involved with the positive uh, people or positive worker as well. Yes, and uh, the next slide is, would like to tell all of you about the challenging, yes, in smart city project wrap speed grow for Seno Will. May you all know Seno Will in the last that I uh, went to Bangkok and have a presentation. Uh, Seno Will is very messy with the uh, Chinese come very quickly. And now uh, Seno Will transform so beautiful with the sky building. And the uh, uh, government, also the Brown Shaw leader, they are uh, a time uh, transform a Seno Will to become a smart city very soon. But meanwhile, the Senu will 
uh, want to transform to a smart city in the name of local people, they are observed that we are face many problems that need to solve. The first one is economic insecurity. The second is food insecurity. And the third is health insecurity. The fourth, environmental insecurity. The fifth is personal and community insecurity. And the last factor affecting citizen confidence in the institution. This is that uh, we found and we have perception that uh, in the name of people, local people who are uh, live in the uh, same world that we shall learn. And uh, we need to tell to the uh, uh, leader of the province and also the state leader need to think about the uh, economic uh, insecurity. It's mean, uh, for example, like uh, very high, yeah, very high of the rental building, very high price of the rental building, very high price of the house rental that local people cannot compete with the Chinese. And many of the local people, they are, they are get out of the downtown and in the downtown, most of them uh, invest by Chinese. And also uh, the food, the food is also high price. Yes. And uh, the land is also uh, high price. And we observe that uh, many local people, they are sell their field rice. Yes, their own land of the field rice that they used to uh, a crop, the agriculture, that they grow right. And now they are not grow anymore. They sell their, their rice uh, fields to uh, Chinese investor. And now we are uh, carelessly about the food insecurity also. Uh, as you know, in the picture, can you see? Yeah, related to the envi uh, environmental insecurity, okay. like you see in the below, the house is flooded by rending. If hell rent only two or three months, some part of the downtown center will be will be flat because uh, of the because of the develop. Yeah, because of the develop. And you see in the above of the picture, we can see the highest building. Yeah, we can see the high building, but local people cannot get the benefit of the local community. This downtown, this beautiful downtown is, uh, has been uh, provided to the Chinese investment, yes. But local people, you see in uh, most of local people, yes, they sell on the road, they sell in mobile with tuk-tuk, with motor, yes. Uh, this is uh, that we concern, that we want uh, to change, that we want to change or redesign the same in San will like the special economy soon. And uh, recently in COVID-19, we, 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 we observed that with cash online, we have seen cash of Cambodian worker and many Thais and uh, some of foreigner are falling into trap of being traffic, forced labor and work illegally that uh, those people, uh, they are come to work just with an easy condition, which just only can use computer and can communicate with English and get high salary. And they have uh, some broker, for example, uh, they, they have some broker uh, from Thailand, yeah. And uh, many of Thai people uh, come to work in uh, online gaming, with the Chinese boss. And now most of Thai Cambodian who are work inside of the online gaming, they are trapped in the building, cannot, uh, uh, cannot allow, they, they are not allowed to walk out or walk in, yes, in the building. They are, they many uh, months ago and those people are not come out. And they work with the, 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 the harsh condition. They work many hours. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, I used to uh, interview some uh, worker who uh, work game online. Uh, most of them are work uh, 13 hours per day or more. Yes. And 
with some punishment when uh, those people are not uh, complete their target. Uh, yes. And, and uh, uh, excuse me, ka, kun, uh, kun and Raman ka, so like, could you please like uh, wrap up because we are almost run out of time. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, for yeah. How many, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and uh, the last I also have uh, some demanding and also recommendation. The first one is that uh, should establish mechanism to improve labor rights and a uh, working condition, double decent work. And the second is uh, we don't need uh, trade union law. We already have a labor law, constitution and convention of ILO. And we are uh, uh, very uh, happy to use that already and uh, make a national policies to promote fundamental rights of worker. We need to have a freedom of association. We need to have uh, MOS and CBA in the company factory in the special economy soon. And the last is provide operational driven mechanism for settle labor dispute uh, better than a representative of um, OLVT. It's mean that Ministry of uh, Labor vocational training. Yes, thank you.